Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can, and they continue with Kingdom Come Deliverance, blind. I'm still in the monastery, and I have like a two hour break before my next obligatory task, so I will use that to talk to some people. Chief among them is Novice Yodok. Uh, who is praying right here, so I'll wait for him to eat with the others. Yeah, I don't think this is necessary, although <laughs> I might one time, because something interesting might happen at the meal, even though nobody is supposed to talk, right, uh, during the meal. Uh, where's Brother Celarius? I'm also interested in him. Brother Nevlas. Novice Antonius, Monk, uh, Novice Yodok. Let's take a second of Praise his to Christ, time. I was talking last night with the Brother Circators. It seems you're to fetch them a cask of wine. Like last time. Hey, well... Yes, it's true. I'd like to help you. Would you really do it? To get hold of the wine, we'll have to leave the monastery for a bit. I, I know it's forbidden, but we've no other option. If wine started going missing here, someone would notice. But to leave the monastery, we need the keys. And only the prior has those. Wait a moment. Are you saying I'm supposed to steal the prior's keys so I can go and steal wine <laughs> somewhere else? Well, you see why I don't want to do it myself now, do you? I don't have what it takes. I can't get those keys, but you could. Or you might be able to pick the locks. But you've done it once before, haven't you? Last time, the prior was sick, and he left the monastery keys in the Sir Cater's care. So they unlocked the gates for me. This time, we'll have to steal the keys. How can I get hold of the keys, do you think? I don't know, but it might be possible to do this without them. Brother Solarius, the cellar keeper, used to be a burglar. He knows his way around locks, and, and maybe could help us, if you could find a way to arrange it. Do you think he'll want to take part in theft? No, but he could give some advice, or maybe get some lockpicks to open the gate. He'll figure something out. If you think so, I can try. Once you have the key or some lockpicks, come and see me and we'll make our plan. Okay, where is Brother Solarius though? That's kind of what interests me. And I think the refectory is like occupied at certain times in manual labor and again at fixed hours in sacred week. To that end we think that the times for each may be prescribed as follows. From Easter until the calends of October. When they come out to climb in the morning, let them labor at whatever is necessary until about the fourth hour. From the fourth hour until about the sixth, let them apply themselves to reading. After the sixth hour, having left the table, let them rest on their beds in perfect silence. Or if anyone may perhaps want to read, let him read to himself in such a way as not to disturb anyone else. Let none be said rather early at the middle of the eighth hour, and let them again do what work has to be done until vespers. Weak or sickly brethren should be assigned a task or craft of such a nature as to keep them from idleness and at the same time not to overburden them or drive them away with excessive toil. Their weakness must be taken into consideration by the abbot. The rule of Saint Benedict, readings on humility. The first degree of humility is obedience without delay. This is the virtue of those who hold nothing dearer to them than Christ, who, because of the holy service they have professed, and the fear of hell and the glory of life everlasting, as soon as anything has been ordered by the superior, receive it as a divine command and cannot suffer any delay in executing it. 
But this very obedience will be acceptable to God and pleasing to men only if what is commanded is done without hesitation. Delay, lukewarmness, grumbling or objection. For the obedience given to superiors is given to God. For if the disciple obeys with an ill will and murmurs, not necessarily with his lips, but simply in his heart, then even though he fulfills the command, yet his work will not be acceptable to God, who sees that his heart is murmuring. And far from gaining a reward for such work as this, he will incur the punishment due to murmurers, unless he amend and make satisfaction. The rule of Saint Benedict, readings on daily manual labor. Idleness is the enemy of the soul. Therefore, the brethren should be occupied at certain times in manual labor, and again at fixed hours in sacred reading. To that end, we think that the times for each may be prescribed as follows. From Easter until the calends of October. When they come out from prime in the morning, let them labor at whatever is necessary until about the fourth hour. And from the fourth hour until about the sixth, let them apply themselves to reading. After the sixth hour, having left the table, let them rest on their beds in perfect silence. Or if anyone may perhaps want to read, let him read to himself in such a way as not to disturb anyone else. Let none be said rather early at the middle of the eighth hour, and let them again do what work has to be done until vespers. Weak or sickly brethren should be... Okay, so it's... it's uh, it repeats. I wonder if I can talk to Brother Salarius. I'm, I know we're not supposed to talk, but maybe we can talk in whisper. What troubles you? I'm looking for something a little... Um, Unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? I'm looking for lock picks. Lock picks? And what would you like those for? I'd like to practice opening locks, just for the fun of it. Well, why not? So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lockpicks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lockpicks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? Hmm. Okay, so I need quite a lot of food to be able to afford that. But there's plenty of food in the cellars. So, what time is it? Hmm. Okay, the guy who has been reading from the rule of St. Benedict is gone. So, maybe... No, it's, it's, he's like making rounds to, to check if we're behaving. I'm not sure whether I can stand up. Like, it was written that theoretically meals are not obligatory. I, I will try standing up and see if, if he objects or something. Like I, 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 I think and I hope he won't like zero in on me and like punish me in a second. I guess he will. Brother? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. I was feeling a bit queasy. Really? Fine then. This time I will forgive you. But next time you'll be punished just like everyone else. Okay, so I, I am not supposed to step out of the refectory. Uh, I'll wait until late. Um, I have work to do then. Mm, and it's not that long. Like I, guess, I guess I'll steal all the food from the sellers uh, during the night and then after the morning prayer the next day. I'm going to exchange them, exchange them for lockpicks with uh, bro brother, brother Salarius. Mm, alternatively, there might be some free time during the day. I would have to check. Mm, okay, I think standing up, go work in the fratery, uh, report to Provost Nevlas at the alchemy bench. 
Uh, okay, it was like this way. Uh, right? Or was it? Where is he though? Is he just coming? Oh, he's here. What would you like? I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. I want you to prepare two marigold decoctions. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Mm. Okay, there's supposed to be a chest with ingredients. What does the thing need? I guess I can take it all, right? Uh... Hmm. Okay, I can auto brew it, but I think mm, I think I will. Uh, mm, I think I will do it manually, like at least once, uh, just to pass the time. And to be honest, I'm not sure whether the game will really allow me to auto brew it. Uh, like it's uh, what. Um, Dropping the nettles, uh, boiling for one turn. Mm, and then adding the marigolds and not boiling anymore. It's two of them, right? Mm, yes. I've already made two because I have a perk that lets me do that. I wonder if he will let me go if I've done my work for the day. I guess I'll have to wait and see. What would you like? I finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be teaching the other novices. So what now? Is my work done? Ah, Gregor, talk to me. Hmm. So what's the timetable for the day? Uh, at noon, work in the library. I wonder, I, I'll see if I can brew uh, that potion for stealth, that would be pretty useful. Oh, no, 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 I don't have a recipe for that. However, the, the night vision potion might be kind of useful as well. Mm, can't brew that, don't have the ingredients. Mm, I'll make a couple of those. Maybe you can sell them to like. I guess he only said he he, he only takes food, but I will brew like one or two of those. Uh, maybe 
I'll be able to sell them to Brother Stellarius. Mm. Okay, I'll try to sneak away. Like the, the circators. Oh, bandages. Page from a torn from a book. Interesting. Let me take a look at that. Page torn from a book. Okay, but I can't read that. But it is a quest item, so it has to be somewhat significant. I'll try to sneak around. Because I have like more than two hours, so... Mm, okay, cobwebs, I'll take those because apparently they are an ingredient for something. to go to the basement which is if I remember rightly right here and like stuff my my pockets with food so that I can trade it with brother Salarius for uh, for lockpicks Page torn from a book. Okay, is this going to be enough? I guess I'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'll just return to, to, to the alchemy lab. So I, I don't know where Brother Celarius is and it's a bit mm, risky to go looking for him right now. So basically I'm not supposed to be out of my, uh, my, out of the place where I'm supposed to be working. Monks have anything to talk ah, about? Gregor, talk to me. I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. The words mean nothing to me. They ask in the library. Hmm. Okay, I will because actually at noon it's time for me to work in the library. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. On the obedience of disciples, the first degree of humility is obedience without delay. This uh, this this beseemeth those who e either through fear of hell or for the glory of life everlasting count nothing more dear to them than Christ. These presently, as soon as anything is commanded them to them by by the superior, make no delay in doing it. Just, just as if the command had come from God, the obedi obedience will then be acceptable to God and pleasing to men. If what is, if what is commanded by, uh, if what is commanded be not done fearfully, slowly, coldly, or with murmuring, 
or an answer showing unwillingness, because the obedience which is given to superiors is given to God, who hath said, He that heareth you, heareth me. Hence it ought to be done by the disciples with good will, because God loveth a cheerful giver. If the disciple, if the disciple obey with ill will and murmur, not only in words but also in the heart, although although if he he fulfill what is commanded to him, it will not be acceptable to God, who considereth the heart of the murmurer. For such a work he shall not have any reward, but rather incurreth a penalty of, of murmurers, unless he amended and made satisfaction. The Abbot We therefore, anyone taketh upon himself the name of the Abbot, he ought to govern his disciples with the twofold doctrine. That is, he ought first to show them all virtue and sanctity more by deeds than by words. Hence, to any such intelligent, he might declare the commandments of God by words, but to the heart, uh, but to the hard-hearted, and to those of the ruder sort, he must make those precepts uh, manifest by his actions and by his life. Therefore, the abbot ought to teach, ordain, and or command nothing what is comfortable to the commands of our Lord. Uh, of our Lord. But let his commands and doctrine be mingled in the minds of his disciples with the with the leaven of divine justice, let there be no distinction of persons in the monastery. Let, none, let, let no one be loved or favored more than another, except he, found, he be found to surpass the rest in good works and in obedience. Therefore, let the abbot bear, bear equal love to all, and let all be subject to the same orders and discipline, according to their deserts. Uh, with the more virtuous and intelligent, let him for the first or second time use words of admonition, but the stubborn, the hard-hearted, the proud and the disobedient, even in the very beginning of their sin, let him chastise with stripes and bodily punishment, knowing that it is written, the fool is not corrected with words, and again, strike thy son with the rod, and thou shalt deliver his soul from death. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Like, where would Brother Salarius be at this time? What was his position again? I don't exactly remember. I'm not even supposed to be here yet, so I feel like maybe I should just wait until noon and then go to the library because I need to talk to the librarian, but yeah, I think I'll do that, like just to wait for an hour. So I've already done my work. I don't think they can bother me about that because Nevelas has not given me any more commands. Okay, let's report to the librarian. Is Brother Salarius somewhere in here? The answer is no. What troubles you? I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. Do you know what it is? Hmm. It appears to be a page torn out of Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? 
Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely. Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Good. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll be most grateful. Can you tell me something about the book? The Art of Love is a sort of manual instructing young people how to find and maintain love. It's a lovely work. I don't understand what bothered Eustace so much about it, but as I was saying, he considered the book to be immoral and tore it up to stop it corrupting any of his brothers. Where should I look? If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you to do it. The pages of the book could be hidden anywhere, from the garden to the refectory. I found a few pages of the torn up book, but I still don't have them all. Wonderful. Keep looking then. I'm sure you can find the rest. Is it possible to learn something about the other novices in the library? Only the abbot and the prior keep such records. And can I see them? No. The abbot writes and keeps his records in his chambers, and only he and the prior are permitted to read them. Mm. Okay, that's definitely... I should get to that, because obviously that might uh, shed more light on who Pius is. Because I imagine from context, he is the last one that joined, right? So it should be recorded in there. I've heard about Avicenna's book of medicine. Could I see it? Who told you about that? Of course you can't. I've heard there are some forbidden books locked up in the library. That's correct. They're here, safely hidden away from anyone who might be tempted to read them. How does a book get on the forbidden list? Forbidden works are full of heresy and blasphemy and witchcraft. If you ask me, we should burn them immediately, not archive them. Could a book be prohibited by mistake? Maybe a good book or a useful one? No errors are made. Every book on the prohibited list is there for a reason. Who am I to doubt the wisdom of Mother Church? I don't need to hear anything else. I'm here to work. Good. This is most likely the first time you've ever done this in your life. But it's easier than you think. Just a bit of practice and learning Latin. Here's the original, and here are the blank parchments on which you'll copy what you read in the original. Is that clear? Then you may begin, and try not to make a mess of it. Mm, okay. Uh, okay, the, the cursive makes it really difficult for me to read, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, mm, okay, I am pretty sure there is no, no like, space between... Uh, Um, voluntas eus. Um, at in leg. I think it's this. Uh, mm, 
because uh, Aeus is a what's the what's the word for that? That, that means his uh, like it's a preposition. Uh, like uh, there, it is a word in Latin I recognize, whereas rus is is not even. I don't think such a word. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this. But to be honest, even if I make a mistake, like what can they expect? I can't read Latin, uh, even you know, neither as a player. Although as a player, I know a bit of Latin, but not nearly enough to like read it. I I know a couple of sentences. And I did, uh, once upon a time, knew quite a bit of grammar, but I've already forgotten because obviously it's not something you use. Um, so it says something like, uh, and so in the law of the, so the law of the Lord uh, voluntarily, uh, uh, although lege, uh, isn't that something about reading? Maybe, maybe, maybe they will tell me. I, I think it's this. Uh, what? Um, uh, okay, so Dominus Dixit at me filius meus as to ego. Uh, mm. Okay, this this seems like a most coherent Latin sentence. It means something like the lines, the Lord said to me, my son uh, and you something. Uh, I, I recognize most of the words in this. I, I can't really read that uh, on, on the right there. Mm, so, to be honest, I'm mostly going by which seems the most genuine Latin. For example, Dormitus is definitely not it. Not it. Like, Dominus is, is the Lord, like mast, Master. Uh, so, it, it, it definitely is Dominus. I think it's this. Uh, okay, where does this sentence even begin? Okay, I'm pretty sure this again looks the most genuine. Although at this point, although Dormivi, no, it would be Domini, right? Hmm. Let's just do whatever and see what happens. Although, to be honest, it's like a really stupid thing to give such an important job to someone who is who doesn't know Latin and is actually probably writing for the first time in his life. Because I've read quite a lot of things, but I didn't really practice writing. Mm, and after the book is done... Uh, submit your work. Uh, like, imagine me spending the time to copy an entire book and then it's wrong. Very well done, my lad. Okay, I guess it, it, at the very least it wasn't wrong. What do you desire, Brother Gregor? So, what's the next thing on the agenda? Uh, work in the library, afternoon worship at 4. Uh, that's still quite a lot of time. I wonder where Brother Salarius is. Like, I would like 
to find him before the night so that I can go around, uh, you know, sneaking around. Forbidden books written by the devil himself. Forget about them. Mm. I will maybe. Hmm. Is that blood? Or is it wine? It does kind of look like blood. Which, which is very suspicious. Where could Brother Salarius be? Like, they told me what he does, but I've forgotten? That would be pretty useful in finding him, right? If I knew what he does. It seems that the regular monks do not much care for me breaking away from the schedule. It's just the circators. So maybe, maybe I'll take like a quick stroll through the garden. Someone really reeked that matter. You're right. It stunk like a wine barrel in there. And it's not the first time. It's a mystery, but one that'll be soon solved. It's a wonder the prior doesn't check everyone's breath in the morning. Then he'd soon get his man. Okay, so this is about them drinking in the cellar. I guess. Which I've already... Monk. Uh, actually, Antonius. What troubles you? Mm, do you have anything new to say? I'll be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. Oh. What can you tell me about Siskin? That there's no man alive less suitable for the monastic life than him. <laughs> you don't know young Lord Capon. <laughs> I've heard things. Siskin must have been like him. Fighting, drinking, fornicating. But then he ended up in here. Why is he in the monastery? No one knows. Maybe he's hiding from something. Or maybe he's being punished. Do you think he has a secret? Don't we all? But unlike the others, he absolutely refuses to speak about his life before the monastery. That's all I wanted to know about him. Thanks. What about your doc? Be on good terms with him. If you show even the slightest hint you don't like him, he'll make your life hell. He's a slimy little pedant who'll rat you out to the superiors. Once he finishes his novitiate, I imagine he'll want to climb his way up the ladder to at least Sir Cater. He's a man who enjoys ordering others around. I'm interested in Lucas. No one knows much about him. He doesn't talk to anyone. He works, eats, sleeps, then does it all again the next day. It's as if he wanted to get it all over with as soon as possible. By it, I mean his entire life. That's all. Thanks. Hmm. Brother. 
What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. I had other affairs that needed to be attended to immediately. It will never happen again. Really? This time I'll look the other way. But next time you won't get out of being punished. Okay, so I'll return to the library for a bit, which I think is this way. Mm, I haven't found Brother Salarius, but to be honest, we will all gather for the uh, for the mass, right, at 4 p.m. And then after we're finished, uh, I should be able to to find him there, because we will all be there. Uh, Wenceslas IV, he is the ruler of the lands of Bohemia and the former king of the Roman Empire. Although many evil of the evil tongue say say do say that he is no true king, and side with his half brother Sigismund, in the year of our Lord thirteen sixty one or seven, he was born unto Emperor Charles the Fourth and his wife Anna of Schweidnitz, uh, and through the right of primogenitor did inherit the throne from his father. At the young age of but two years old, he was crowned the king of Bohemia, and at the age of fifteen, he sat, sat upon the throne of the emperor. Both actions that aroused outcry, for the crown of the new king, uh, for to crown a new king, whilst an older one is still alive, is neither ordinary nor common, and all the same, the young king cannot rule until he reaches adulthood. When later King and Emperor Charles died, and Wenceslaus rightfully sat upon both thrones, he ruled well at first, but poor counselors and unwise rulers of the land of Europe of, of the, of the land of Europe did vex him greatly, and thus the king, abandoning his initial enthusiasm, uh, turned his attention instead to drinking and hunting, and thus in the empire did discontent with the new, new ruler grow, and Wenceslaus, instead of reconciling conflicts, fled from them, for he did not, for he did not need to resolve them. And thus it came to be that he did not go to receive his crown, for he desired not to enrage the French, who at that time had their own pope in Avignon, and he did cause such indignation in the Margravate of Moravia that the Obst of Moravia had him imprisoned until the king resolved the trouble in his country. But in place of resolving conflicts, Wenceslaus' disregard for proper rule preserved, and he was freed by his brother John. Discontent grew, and many other noblemen did protest and form a league of lords to remove Wenceslaus from the throne, and on it they would have preferred to see his second brother, Sigismund, who ruled in Hungary at the time. Wenceslas heeded neither the warnings nor the threats of the lords, and continued to rule as he saw fit, or rather to devote himself to amusements, and when the lords had no more patience for him, and the rebellion against him broke out, he requested the assistance of his second brother Sigismund, to whom he entrusted the rule of the land. He however did not help his brother, but took royal castles and imprisoned Wenceslas, for not trust for not just the rule did Sigismund take, but the crown of Bohemia as well, which certain fraction of the lords did welcome, for they were glad to see order and law restored in the kingdom. In these days, King Wenceslaus remains Sigismund's captive, while Sigismund, the ginger fox, plunders Bohemia. Okay, I will wait until the, 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 the mass because I don't have that much to do, really. Uh, I, I need to find brother, what his name, Salarius, to, to barter with him for the lockpicks for the night. Um,
to do, you know, what with being monks. Uh, maybe it's a clue that he's doing something weird. Uh, m maybe I should actually keep that in mind. But hopefully he'll at least show up for supper. Which is, like, shortly-ish. It's at 6, I'm pretty sure. Hmm... Yeah, yeah, six. Vespers, common supper. Mm, actually, I'm kind of interested in knowing what's in here. Mm, damn it. Brother! What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. I definitely was there. I did come a little late, so perhaps no one noticed me. Really? I'll pretend nothing happened. But this is the last time, brother. This is not a good time for questions, brother. I wonder what happens if, like, will they throw me out? What's the punishment? Will they, like, just whip me and that's it? Or, like, what's the... I guess they said solitary confinement. But what's the punishment in terms of, like, how how endangered am I with regards to failing the quest if I misbehave? Like, obviously, there has to be a way... The librarian always leaves first, which is potentially kind of suspicious to me. 
but there must be a way to finish the quest nonetheless, regardless of what you do, because it's a main quest. Uh, so, you no, know, the game is not going to hard lock you just because you have failed an objective. I wonder if I can just wait while at church. I think I can. I think the refectory is like let them apply themselves to reading. After the sixth hour of salvation, you will rest on their beds in perfect silence. Or if anyone may perhaps want to read, let him read to himself in such a way as not to Praise be to Christ, brother. Let none of them send rather early at the middle of the eighth hour send them again to what works. You have some interesting skills? For a monk? I suppose you want to tell me how you pick them up. What's there to tell? We were all young and foolish once. I was a student in Prague, completely broke, living from hand to mouth and studying all day. It wasn't an easy life. So you turned to stealing? I set about securing a livelihood as best I could. A goose, some new shoes, a bit of coin to spend with my friends. Without that little bit extra, I'd that never have same. completed my studies. I would have turned into a beggar. And who else do you know that can say he's serving God thanks to having been a thief? No one, brother. Thank you for telling me your story. Oh, he will buy the potions. So that's great news. It, it would have been pretty difficult to meet uh, like the price requirement even for a single lockpick. Let's talk about the price. Knowing that this is written, hmm. the fool All right, so. And again, beat your son with the rod, and you will deliver his soul from death. The rule of Since it's you, readings on humility, that's the first not enough. Degree of humility is obedience without delay. This is the virtue of those who hold mm, nothing okay. So the, the price is going, it, going to be higher now. I guess I can only get two. I have to be careful with them. Okay, I'll keep the rest for now. I'll make more potions the next day at uh, the next day at alchemy. And far from gaining a reward for such work, Let's talk about the price. The hmm. All right, so unless we amend and make satisfaction. The rule of Saint Benedict. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Says. Okay, am I hungry? Not really. But I will eat something, I think. So much the more ought the punishment for sin make us avoid evil works. Therefore, since the spirit of silence is so important. Permission to speak should rarely be granted even to perfect disciples, even though it be for good, holy, edifying conversation. 
For it is written, in much speaking you will not escape sin. And in another place, death and life are in the power of the tongue. For speaking and teaching belong what is it, to the master. The disciples took part to be silent to listen. Uh, I, hmm. I will ask this because it is kind of a leading question, but it doesn't really admit to anything. In the night, I oh. saw the brother Cicatus drinking, okay. playing dice. And why aren't you spending your nights sleeping instead of creeping around spying on your brothers? I only wanted to... I know, brother, I know, but you need to understand that novices shouldn't be poking their noses into the affairs of elder brothers. Even if something inappropriate was going on. Even then, I'm afraid. Who are you compared with them? Wait till you know what's what, and in the meantime, keep your head down and do what you're told. Life in a monastery is much like life outside in many ways. The monastery walls don't keep out human pride and hatred. Really? I thought monks were above that sort of human folly. They became monks, Gregor, but that didn't stop them being men. Be on your guard as much as you ever were outside. Lies, jealousy, vengeance. They can hurt you here as much as anywhere. Thanks for the advice. Although I don't know if I can follow it. That's up to you, brother. And let them again do what work has to be done until vespers. Weak or sickly brethren should be assigned a task or craft of such a nature as to keep them from idleness and at the same time not to overburden them. What do you desire, Brother Gregor? Toil. Their weakness must be taken into consideration by the abbot. About those the keys. Of Saint Benedict. Hmm. Did you get them? The keys? Oh, at least lockpicks. Yes, I have them. In that case, come before midnight to the cloister garden. I'll be waiting for you there, and we'll head off. Okay. Here, the prophet shows that if the spirit of silence ought to lead us at times to refrain even from peace. Okay, so I guess the meal is done, and it's like a free hour before bedtime. Mm, 7 p.m. Uh, compline, free time before retiring, and 9 p.m. is curfew. So basically I'm free until 9 p.m., and then I have to return for a little bit to the dormitory to pretend to go to sleep, uh, and then like wake up in the middle of the night and uh you know do some shenanigans hmm. is there someone coming Nobody seems to care that much about me trespassing here. Oh, it's like a pantry, I guess. Uh, There's also a shitter. Go to bed already? Okay, I will. Uh, for a little bit. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, nobody's looking here, but the uh, brother librarian will be sitting right here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have to return during the night. Anything interesting in here? Oh, there's a very hard chest. Which I am kind of interested in. It's it's not no curfew yet, so to be honest I don't have to go to bed yet. In fact it would be straight up a waste of time if I did. Uh, so I can do some other things in the in the meantime. Okay, let's try quickly picking that. I wonder if I can sell those to Celarius for more lockpicks. I'll try going back to him to see that. Is he still here? Uh, just a monk. Uh, brother Celarius. Praise be to Christ, brother. It's interesting that some of those are marked as stolen, like it's all stolen and I'm pretty sure he must know that. But he doesn't buy anything else than food. Uh, can I afford uh, another lockpick? How much is it? Uh, 20. I don't think so. Yeah, that's not quite enough. Okay, it's still not curfew, so uh, let's take a look at those uh, lockpicking perks. Mm, you can unlock easier locks automatically. Your sixth sense will warn you if someone is about to catch you, so you have more time to escape. Uh, it'll be 30% easier for you to open locks while drunk, but also 30% noisier. After successfully picking a lock, you have a 20% chance of any broken lockpicks returning to your inventory. Okay, I'll take this because uh, it's quicker. Whenever I need to steal something, it, if it's an easy lock, I will just open it automatically. Master Thief. Which is especially useful in here because there are actually a couple of easy locks around. For example, right here. Hmm, Brother Librarian is not in the library, so maybe I can use that opportunity to go there and take those forbidden books before the curfew. Is there anyone here? Oh, there is. There's like a regular monk. Okay. Hmm. 
he shouldn't notice this. I wonder where does this door lead? <laughs> Service. those idlers by the ears. What have they done to you this time, brother? They're shirking their responsibilities, leaving us, their superiors, to chase around after them, finishing what they don't. Do you have to finish someone's weeding in the garden again? Yet again. I've had enough of it. Okay, still not the curfew. So maybe they could go to the church and there's like a side chamber and explore that mm, it's like over there of books which I would ordinarily I would care for that but right now it's not exactly crucial to my objective and stashed behind the altar. Interesting. And useful. Must have been Brother Sir Cater. He can't sleep and prays long into the night. 
Mm, okay, it's almost curfew, so I will retire to my chambers uh, for to pretend I'm going to bed. Uh, I'll sleep until like 11.30, cause I have to meet the guy uh, before midnight, right? In the evening, but he specifically said before midnight, so that, that's no longer evening, that's uh, well into the night, mm. but I will do that next time because this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to pause it here. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.